Mason Mount to United, done. Um, he's been given the iconic number seven shirt. Obviously, uh, Brian Robson, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. George Best. Eric I Cantona, mean, David ooh, Beckham. Ooh. I know. It's, I mean, it's, in terms of a shirt... Let's not give the kid any more pressure. In terms of a shirt, do you think the number seven at Manchester United is the most iconic in world football? No, Pele 10. Yes, but you wouldn't that say... That Brazilian the, 10, that Brazilian number 10 shirt. Do you it? think? Yes, to come in... It, it, I think the Manchester United it's seven is heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. No, it's heavy. It's a lot. It's, when you th- when you say the players, when you say, every when you do one the of list of those players, yeah. yeah. But there's been some though. I think um, Hugh Wozencroft tweeted, didn't he today? There's been some that have worn that shirt. Have been awful. Just haven't worked out. Mm. Not awful because good players like Di Maria just didn't work out. Here's a number seven shirt. Unfortunately, it didn't work out. Memphis Depay mm. just didn't work out. Did he got that number seven shirt again? Not bad players. Clearly gone on and done decent things, especially Di Maria. But it's not worked out for some. Yeah, that's that is that is true. That's always mm. going to be the case. Yeah, but I do think that in terms of the ones that have landed, in terms of the ones that have oh, you're have worked, superstars. well, it's Manchester United icons, isn't it? Yeah. Like Brian Robson, you know, it's, it's you know Captain Marvel. It's arguably their best ever captain. It's one of the most uh, brilliant players that they've ever had. It's David Beckham. It's it's Cristiano Ronaldo, a player that won a Ballon d'Or mm. in that shirt. I think that it's the most. It's the biggest selling shirt. Probably in print that number in it, number seven. Seven United. Manchester yeah. United. It really is a rich and esteemed. Why have they shirt. done it then? Why have they put this extra pressure on this young player? Well, it's not necessarily Youngish. only extra pressure, is it? It's a vote of confidence as well. Mm. It's like if you're if you're a detractor of Mason Mount, you may look at it and think that he is not the heir apparent to that shirt. You may think that he is not capable of filling the void left by the players that we've just mentioned. But if you if you believe that Mason Mount is the answer to Manchester United's problems, maybe he's ready for this shirt. Maybe this is the the moment that he needs. When I think of it, and you've always pointed out that Mason Mount can do various jobs, mm. um, um, mainly in the forward line, but you know also can do a job in midfield. Um, that's a very attacking number. When you look at the players that have had that shirt, that again, you mentioned best, Ronaldo's had his shirt, mm. obviously Beckham. These are all like, attacking players, in, in theory. So does that mean that that... That's that for United when it comes to attacking players this season. Do you think that oh, they no. think they maybe find find a position for him a bit more forward than we think? That like we've been thinking that they're signing Mount to play left side of the midfield. Do you think that potentially they're signing Mount to be left forward, left no. side of forward? Okay. No, no. Mason Mount's best position is undoubtedly as a midfielder, as a box to box midfielder who can certainly contribute going forward. You know, he has a keen eye for an assist. He has an excellent eye for a goal. He is a thorn in the opposition side going forward. But he's fantastic off the ball. If you play him too far up the pitch, you lose his brilliance at winning the ball back. You lose his brilliance at pressing. And I think that what he will do for that back line is huge. Like that left side now that they're going to have, certainly at their disposal, whether they choose to use it or not, we'll find out what Ten Hull's plans are. But I think that the Luke Shaw, Mason Mount, Marcus Rashford left side, assuming that Marcus Rashford will play there and Mason Mount will play that left side in midfielder playing that left channel that I think he excels at. That's a brilliant left side. It's threatening. Mm. It's solid at the back. It will win the ball constantly. It will elevate the whole team. It will be a real threat for the opposition. Anyone that plays Manchester United is going to be very wary about what's going on down the left. Proper left. It's a good, good, isn't it? Yeah, that's as good as it gets in the Premier. That's a really strong side. I'm not not comparing it to this one per se. I'm not saying that it's I know know exactly what you're going to do and I want to stop you. Because you're going to go Arsenal... You're gonna, you're gonna go. <laughs> Ashley Cole, Perez, Henri. Don't you dare! But Ashley don't Cole, you dare! I'm, I'm protecting you, my friend, and yeah, I'm protecting you. I'm not you. saying don't it's do good. It. I'm, Addy, it's a footballing conversation. I'm allowed, <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed, to, I'm allowed to bring in I other examples, do it, do right? It, do it. Just when I think about iconic left sides, you, you, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah. You go, you go. Ashley the Cole, one, Robert yeah. Perez, Thierry Ever Henry. In the Premier League. Obviously, Thierry Henry was kind of a centre forward, but he would drift. He would play that Thierry Henry channel down the left, mm. and what Arsenal created down that left side was so responsible for their brilliance but also so responsible for a lot of their success down the other side because they would overload one side it would create space on the other side I think that this could be very very beneficial not only to Manchester United down the left but suddenly Anthony on the other wing is going to go hold up this is wonderful mm. I've got a lot more room here because the opposition are so preoccupied with what's going on down the left yeah look maybe uh, maybe but look, I think it's extra pressure but again we're going to be joined by Flex from the United View to get his take on it obviously United being linked with a, a couple of forwards as well um, um, Hoyland being linked you know you know when you look at the sort of the forwards the number nines that United mm. are being linked with again look I'm of an age where I remember United you look at the fours they had and they were the best of the best right? They, they, or, or at least go and they, sign the best they, yeah. go and sign go Andy and sign Cole the best. go and sign that, Dwight York go and sign Teddy Ruth Sheringham Ruth Sheringham go and yeah. get them yeah. you know what I mean because yeah. they're the best we're going to get them Robin Van Persie they're not that like anymore them. though this is what I was just about to say like 
they're not attracting the best number nines in them, or at least they don't want to say, here's 150 million, as is the market today. Mm. Go and get them. Yeah, because they haven't like, won a double recently. Yeah. You know, they haven't won back to back leagues recently. It's still United, though. No, it's still of the biggest club in the world. As much as I hate to say it, they are still that. It's the like, biggest, why, but it's not the why, most successful. Why aren't they getting Oshman? Yeah, but they need to become that. That's what they want to become, mm. right? Why aren't they say, here, 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 Napoli, we want your forward, who's considered in that top tier bracket, get him? I think they should. I think mm. they should go for Osherman. Well, I, I actually think they should go for Harry Kane, but it seems like that one's not going to happen. But where I think Manchester United could come really unstuck is, it's one thing not getting Osherman, and it's looking like they won't. It's another thing not getting Harry Kane, it's looking like they won't. Mm. But they really can't let themselves get into a situation where they either have to panic by, and that's a that's a wout wow, horse situation, isn't it? That's an Igalo situation. They can't let that happen. But equally... They can't buy somebody who just isn't good enough or allow themselves to go into a situation where they don't buy anyone. Are we not remembering, very quickly on this one, we've got to um, do, the, do the rounds in a minute, but are they not remembering that they've got Martial? Has that almost been forgotten that they've got Martial up front? Yeah, but... Does he, no, does he not get... He's not being sold, is he? He's no, not being Marci- sold. Martial's does he not, get not the answer. Whatever, whatever... If Martial is your answer, then you're, you're asking, asking the wrong, wrong question, question, aren't you? I've worked with Rory for a long time. I knew that was coming.